What's up guys, Jay here and welcome back to another Deep Rock Galactic video. Today we have another tips video in store. The last one for the engineer did very well, so for today I'm moving on to DRG's resident power tool fanatic and HR's least favorite employee, the driller. If you want to make the most out of your drilling experience and become a true master of the underground, you've come to the right place. So if you guys are ready, I'll be sharing six useful tips to help you play the driller class better than ever before. By the way, if you want to see more videos, please subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost anything and only helps me make more content for you to enjoy. Obstacle! More like a granite smoothie wants I'm done! As a driller, your primary role is that of a terrain manipulator. Your main jobs are to create tunnels, pave the way for your team, and clear out hordes of hostile creatures. Embrace your role as the spearhead of the team and be proactive in tunneling through challenging terrain. You will most likely be the first member of your team in a new area. Use your drills to create paths, but also be mindful of fuel management. Prioritize drilling into crucial areas or to create shortcuts that benefit the team the most. If it ain't drillable, it's probably flammable. Number one. Embrace your weapon's elements. One thing that may drive many people away from the driller at first is his unorthodox weapon choices. He doesn't have conventional weapons like the other classes and chooses to opt for weapons that would make the Geneva Convention raise an eyebrow. However, the driller's arsenal makes him exceptionally well at swarm control with the use of damage over time and status effects. A flamethrower can clean up huge hordes of enemies with ease while the cryo cannon can make taking out bosses a trivial task, and the sludge pump can turn the entire map into a slowdown hazard for the bugs. Understanding the elements that the driller's weapons utilize and knowing what circumstances to bring them in can be a huge assistance to your team. The cryo cannon can do great on an elimination mission by softening up the dreadnoughts, while the sludge pump can make defending a point extraction platform simple and effective. When you use the driller's weapons, keep in mind that they don't function as simple as the other classes, but learn their quirks and capabilities and you will be invaluable to your team. Number 2. Drill with a purpose, not just to drill. While drilling can be fun and exciting, it's important to drill strategically. You don't have infinite fuel after all, and if you drill frivolously, you will run out before you know it. As such, you should focus on creating efficient pathways to objectives and important resources. Before starting, communicate with your team to identify key areas that need to be accessed quickly or cave walls that require clearing. The less time your team spends in a room, the greater the chance of survival. One unspoken rule is that when it is time to extract, once you know where the pod has landed, forget all about that backtracking and just cut a straight line directly to the drop pod. Just make sure you have enough fuel to make the trip all the way back. Take advantage of the driller's ability to reshape the environment to your team's advantage and remember to consider the mission objectives when deciding on the most efficient paths. Number 3. Certain missions belong to the driller. While the driller has a place and specialty on every mission type no matter what, there are certain ones that the driller is far more specialized for. Understanding the kinds of missions that you excel at can make your driller play that much better. First, as obvious as it may be, the driller excels more at missions that require the team to be more mobile such as an egg hunt or mining expedition, as well as missions set in caves with more complexity to them, as it allows him to use his drills far more effectively. In elimination missions, you can work wonders at crippling the dreadnoughts with either cold or sludge so your teammates have an easier time taking it out. In point extraction missions, you can easily uncover many of the aquatic gems without trouble. And I can't forget the playground for the driller that is on-site refining missions. These were made for the driller in my opinion, as you can simply bypass all the nonsense and just cut a straight line to the pump jacks instead of having to snake the pipeline around twists and turns. There's an entire iceberg of usefulness the driller has in terms of utility during every mission type, however these are the ones that I experience a lot of the time. Understanding how you can use your immense terraforming powers to complete the mission objective is critical for an effective driller. Number 4. Utilize your satchel charges. Drills and firepower aren't the only things in your arsenal. The driller class also has access to powerful explosives. The satchel charges can help you take down difficult terrain, eliminate large groups of enemies, or even create shortcuts if the terrain is generated properly. When encountering tough minerals or obstacles, strategically place satchel charges to save time and effort. Furthermore, don't hesitate to use them as offensive tools against dense enemy clusters. For example, on elimination missions, you can set up a satchel charge right on the cocoon so that once those big ugly bugs spawn, you can immediately take out a chunk of the armor. Unless it's a hive guard, in which case you're out of luck. One cool thing the satchel charges let you do is create makeshift bunkers for your team to hold out in during heavy swarms. Just find a wall, drill into it as far as you can, throw a satchel charge at the end of the wall, and bam, instant defense hold. Practice using your satchel charge both as a tool for terraforming, offense, and defense, and you will aid your team in countless ways. Just be careful you don't hurt your team too much, as these things do have a pretty large area of effect. Number 5. 
mine minerals with the drills. While the drills are not able to directly mine minerals, which is still something that doesn't make much sense to me, you can still use them to collect minerals fast if done correctly. One common practice is to make a staircase behind mineral deposits for your team to work on. Now the scout and engineer can usually handle those one-off small deposits with the platform gravel combo, but if the team is waiting around for one scout to dig a large chunk of minerals, then the driller should carve a path in the wall behind it so everyone can mine. Or even better yet, if the driller cuts out all of the ground around the mineral in question, once it's fully separated from the terrain, it will break and fall as if it were fully mined. This can be very useful if done properly. Remember before I said you don't want to drill too frivolously in case the team needs your digging powers later on. That being said, this practice is best done in two different methods. First, if you are on a mission in which you are constantly moving through the caves where your drills will be needed, use this tactic wisely and sparsely on just the largest and most inconvenient mineral deposits and leave the smaller easier ones to either your teammates or the use of the primitive pickaxe. So the next time you get a bulk gold detonator, try using this method to gather the gold it leaves behind and you will save your team a lot of both time and effort. Or you could just use the satchel charges, I guess. On missions where you stay mainly in one place and don't move around too much, then you have a bit more opportunity to use this method, as you won't be needed as much to get to different locations. Still always be aware of what your team needs of you and where your drills can be most effective. But if you have the ability to gather important resources for the team, then go ahead. Number 6. Teamwork Makes the Dream Work Last but not least, make sure to work together with your teammates to maximize the effectiveness of your capabilities. The driller has a lot of very strong usefulness that he can provide, making him a kind of jack-of-all-trades in many situations. As such, you should communicate your plans and work together with your team to achieve success. The engineer's platforms can be strategically placed in junction with your tunnels to create elevated positions or bridges. By working together, you can create a formidable stronghold and efficiently tackle any obstacles that come your way. Also, the gunner can effectively use any choke point that you give him with his heavy firepower in order to take out swarms efficiently. Remember, by working together seamlessly, you'll maximize your efficiency and become an unstoppable force for your team. And there you have it, six helpful tips to help you step up your game with the driller class in Deep Rock Galactic. By embracing your role, drilling strategically, utilizing your tools effectively, and working closely with your teammates, you'll dominate the underground and lead your team to victory. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't be discouraged if you don't handle everything effectively right away. Keep drilling, keep experimenting, and soon you'll be leading your team through the caves with ease and they will be looking at you for more help than ever. So what do you guys think? Did you learn anything you didn't before? If you don't play the driller, do you think you might pick him up now? Let me know down below. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please be sure to give it a like because it tells me what types of videos you guys want to see. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time for another video.